Hey guys, it's another Scene Project Turbo LS. So today we're going to be building one of our uh, fuel lines. This is actually the return line, uh, number six PTFE Poly Tetra Fluoroethylene. So the reason you want to use this is because it's uh, the uh, polymer. It's high resistance to heat, so it can take 327 degrees C before it melts. So anytime you have a fuel system or anything like that that are running close to engine components, we want to run the uh, PTFE, and it's also very tough. The inner jacket is basically the material here. I'll show you how to build one of these uh, one of these fittings here. So what you do is you have this. This is we're using a 45 to go. This is going to be our return line. So I'm building the part that goes into the tank first. So we'll see how this works here. So basically, you guys can see this ferrule here. So this comes off, and we have to. Uh, I just have the tape on here because you, what you do is you tape it up, then you cut it with the uh, angle grinder at the particular length you want. This is a zip cut wheel. So it kind of stops the fraying. So what you do then is you uh, you take the nut here and you put the uh, the end over. So that's why I got the tape on. So it's just easier to do. So we'll just lubricate this up a bit. So it slips on easier. And then, yeah, we'll put this on. Hopefully it'll go on, we'll see. Yeah, so there it goes. Kind of twist it on, so there it is. Then what you do is you take your your tape off. You probably leave it on too, it won't hurt it. Take your tape off, like so. And then this part here, so let me just, uh, what you have to do, is you have to actually open the end up a little bit so we can get our our ferrule on there. And as you can see here, that's our little ferrule. So this has actually got a lip in there. And what you want to do is you want to push the ferrule onto the uh, PTFE line inside here all the way up to that lip so it seats properly. Hopefully you can see that. So yeah, so what you do is you, uh, you kind of roll back the uh, the braiding and then you just have here I'll show you I'll take it out real quick you can see that so you roll back the braiding there so we expose our uh, inner PTFE line and you take your ferrule and you basically push it on there until it seats yep right there so I'm not sure if you guys can see that but it is now seated all the way against the inner lip there, so that's good. Then what you do is you just pull this forward so it goes around, you kind of have to twist it, like so. Yeah, right there. I'll put this back in the vise just to make it easier. So now this section here slides into the PTFE line. Actually, just forget this. So, so what you do is you slide this in now, right there. Then you start. You turn the nut on. You just got to get it started, and that's the trick here. And then it'll pull itself. I think it started right there. Yep. So now it's pulling the whole assembly together. Yep. And what you do, open up the vise and put our nut on the flats. on the flats of the nut. Snug that down. Okay, good. Now continue tightening the rest of the fitting into the nut until it seats. We just put a little bit of lube on these threads here. So 
So what's happening as this is threading into here, it's actually pulling our, our male part into the PTFE line, it's actually expanding it. So it makes a really nice tight seal of the fitting. Okay, that's it. So there we go, that's how you build a uh, PTFE. Again, polytetrafluoroethylene fitting and line. So there it is, guys. So this will basically thread onto my uh, fitting in the tank as a return line for Project Turbo LS. Should be pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll put this in there, see where it comes out on the return line of our truck intake manifold, then cut this thing to the proper length, and then put the other fitting on the other end. And that's it, guys. So hopefully uh, that was pretty clear and straightforward how to build a uh, PTFE fitting and uh, fuel line.